Hi everyone, it's Benjamin from Barclay Jones and if you're watching this it's probably because you're a recruiter or you're someone else who's just interested in sharing great content even when you're not around. So I'm going to show you how to do that today with two fantastic apps, Feedly to find content and Buffer to schedule it to come out later in the day when your clients and your candidates can see it. And we know that when we share great content, that really attracts clients and candidates to us. It lets us raise our profile on our social streams like Twitter and LinkedIn, and it helps us demonstrate our specialism. So the first place I wanted to show you is a website called Feedly.com. I think you're going to love it. There's apps available for iOS and Android, but I know a lot of you are on your desktops a lot of the time. So this is a great place to come to find news. And you can search and set it up to collect all kinds of news for you. First of all, you're going to want to log in. And when I do that, it's going to give me the chance to log in with any of my existing accounts. You can't make a brand new account with your email and making a new password. You're going to use an existing service like Google, Facebook, Twitter, even a Hotmail account will let you in. So I'm going to sign in with my Google. And once I'm in, I arrive at a home page of customized news for me that I've been adding to my Feely over a while. So if I come to this recruitment folder down here, I'll find all kinds of articles that it's pulling in and it's really easy for me to see stuff in one place. And I just need to look at one of the, uh, the articles. Here's a, a good looking one about how to manage my LinkedIn groups uh, uh, actively. Let's have a look at this. And I could share that from there to Twitter or to LinkedIn. For some things, it's gonna be free like Twitter and that would let me share that article right away. And for some things like LinkedIn, it's going to want me to get the pro version. Buffer is here as well as one of the things that's part of the pro suite. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at Buffer and then we're going to come back to Feedly to do something a little bit clever. Over here on Buffer, I need an account that I can share stuff to. Uh, I could create an email login for this, but uh, you're going to want it connected to some of your social streams anyway, so you might as well use your Twitter, Facebook, or your LinkedIn. I'm going to go in my LinkedIn. And I'm in, and what this gives me is a nice queue of all the articles that I've, I've set up ready to be shared later on. And I'll be able to make a, a schedule of all the times that I want those things to go out. So you can see already it's going to be very useful because I can find all the news I need at one point in the day. And it can share out in my stream later on so that people are always seeing a little bit about me. Now, I mentioned sharing from Feedly to Buffer is often part of the paid version. Well, I don't want to make you have to spend anything that you don't have to. Up the top, you can see in my browser, right on the top right of my screen here, I've got a small button in, my, uh, in here. This is a Chrome extension, and this is a little Buffer button that I've installed. And you can get that right here from the Buffer site. So if you take uh, from the Buffer uh, section there and just go Extras, then here is a link to get the iOS app, the Android app, and right here, download the extension for Chrome to make it easier to share any sites you find straight into your buffer queue. That means now, back when I'm on Feedly and I find something interesting that I want to share with people, if I follow the link to it so that I see the whole article, and then I click my buffer button right on the top right up here, then that gives me a small little box and I can choose which streams I want this to share to and it adds it straight into my queue. I've obviously got the option to add more text into that box if I want to. But I'm just going to add that one straight into my queue. So I hope that you find this really useful. There's loads more I could say but today I just wanted you to know how to connect your Feedly account to your Buffer account by using the Chrome extension buffer button right up the top there.